क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई कीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड टुडे इज अ न्यू टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द डिफरेंट प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ लैपलास्ट ट्रांसफॉर्म द फर्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इज एम्पलीट्यूड स्केलिंग प्रॉपर्टी दिस इज द बेस्ट एंड सिंपलेस्ट प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ लैपलास्ट ट्रांसफॉर्म दैट यू कैन इजीली सॉल्व सो फर्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ लैपलास्ट ट्रांसफॉर्म इज एम्पलीट्यूड स्केलिंग प्रॉपर्टी लेट्स सी First of all, we'll study the statement of amplitude scaling property. What is it? If we have a function x of t, then we can write this function as a x of s. Suppose if we have a function x of t, then we can transform this function into Laplace transform, and we can write this answer in x of s. But suppose if this x of t is multiplied with some amplitude, let's say a. This a can be any integer value. then the laplace transform of this function is a x of s so we are going to prove this part if we are going to find out the laplace transform of a x of t then what do you want to say you will get a x of s now we'll prove this how you are going to achieve a x of s now we have studied the definition of laplace transform what is it x of s that is the laplace transform of any continuous time signal we can integrate using this definition according to or by using a laplace transform definition the x of s is represented by laplace transform of time domain x of t which is nothing but the integration of x of t into exponential function having order minus s t dt over the integration limit from minus infinity to infinity now here we are going to substitute the value of x of t right now the amplitude or a function is a into x of t so let's see what will be the result of this a x of t now what we are going to do we are going to substitute x of t by a x of t so i have simply placed a x of t in my equation now we know that the a is the constant because the whole integration depends on t or this we are going to integrate only the terms which is having value of t so you can say that this a value is constant which will comes outside so i have written a outside the integration now inside integration what we have integration of minus infinity to infinity x of t e to the power minus s t dt and this is nothing but the definition of laplace transform so according to by using a definition of laplace transform we can represent all this integration value or all this part by x of s and this is nothing but the proof so you can integrate or you can solve amplitude scaling property just by using this method amplitude scaling property of laplace transform says that a into x of t is nothing but a which is amplitude into just take the find out laplace transform of x of t and just multiply it with the a thank you for watching this video stay tuned with ikeda and subscribe ikeda for next further videos thank you so much